Okay guys, so let's just go work on the hair color here. I usually use the cross mouse pointer when I'm working on a diagonal position. Let's say for example here you would see if I go and try to press on the shift key here while in a diagonal position, it's a lot easier for me to be able to fill up the parts of the screen here or the parts of the canvas here <coughs> that I want to color uh, in a diagonal uh, movement or a diagonal line here when I'm doing some coloring and I usually try to also do it this way so you would see it's going to be a lot easier for you to be able because if you want to change it to the mouse cursor actually has a lot of shapes here and the two most common shapes that I use is the one pixel and the two pixels here for coloring especially if I want to be more detailed let's see let's see I want it to be much more detailed I'll be using the one pixel um, sized and if I would want it to be a bit faster, I would usually transition to the 2 pixel sized here. And then, of course, bigger cursors or bigger size for the mouse cursor here also can be another option. But it's a lot easier, of course, to just try to first create a box from where you can go and utilize the fuzzy select tool here and then use the paint bucket tool here to cover those middle parts so it will be a lot faster and I'm pressing on the control then this brush button left mouse button to quickly select the colors that I would want to use for a specific part of the character that we're building here so let's first try to work on some parts of here let's say like this one uh, I missed two spots there I'll be using the uh, the smaller size pixel here so I'll just be continuing with the uh, hair color uh, for today